Seguimos aquí en el Heineken Silver Live Out, cerrando con Broche de Oro, estamos con The Hives. Hi, how are you? I'm great, how are you? How are you feeling being back in Monterrey? It feels great. I wish we could have come back sooner, but then, you know, somebody's going to have to book us. <laughs> but I'm happy to be here now. Of course. I mean, of course you've seen all the memes about you and Los Tigres del Norte. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you familiar with their music? Absolutely. We, we're in contact with them because we wanted to play... I was going to sing at their show in London. Okay. But I got sick and missed it. But oh, I hope no. it can still happen. Um, next time we cross paths with Los Tigres del Norte. Such a moment. Imagine at the Hives, Tigres del Norte song. Yeah. Wouldn't it be amazing? Why not? We'll give it our best. I don't know how good we are playing traditional Mexican music. We'll give it a shot. I think it would be amazing. <laughs> Thanks for the confidence. So tell me about your latest album, The Death of Rick Fisherman. I know it took a while to get a new album. Yeah. Why was this? Like? Well, because our main mentor, songwriter and manager, Randy Fitzsimmons, was missing for such a long time. And uh, he wasn't there when we made the record. But his material was. Um, that was the biggest reason. And Because once we had that, it was pretty quick. But yeah, it took ridiculously long time. Yeah. And um, it was terrible for us too. I know it was boring for the people that like us, but it was even more boring for us, I think. I mean, we waited, but it was worth it. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> and I wanted to ask you because you guys bring such energy to the stage. Mm -hmm. What is your, what, how do you prepare for a show? Oh, we just, the other 23 hours of the day, we do nothing. Okay. <laughs> you, like, we just save the energy. Your energy. Yeah, yeah. So we're kind of like this, and then we explode. <laughs> across the universe. You've been resting before this. Yeah, but, well, I've been flying and traveling, but okay. apart from that, I slept on the plane, so I feel like I'm in good shape. Okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and lastly, you have this very strong and special connection with your Mexican fans. Yeah. Uh, how like how do you feel so. about this? And what do you think? I mean, you started like decades ago and you still have this strong connection to Mexico. How does yeah. it make you feel? Well, I mean, it's such a It's such, if I could pick one country to be popular in, it'd probably be Mexico. Because the food is great, the crowds are great, and it's exotic enough, and it's warm here when it's not in Sweden. Okay, so yeah. we can go here in the winter, like birds of passage, you know, kind of like move to Mexico over the winter. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I mean, I've al we've always had such a great time playing here and always had like a romantic view of Mexico. So it, yeah, it's great that it's mutual. Amazing, thank you so much. One last message for the fans. Hi, I'm Pelle from The Hives. You should listen to us. That's my message for the fans. Thank you so much.